So essentially every county has a weights and measures division that's uh, associated with the uh, food and agriculture. Um, the weights and measures goes out and uh, makes sure uh, that the electric meters and water meters and gas meters that are on a um, property, a mobile home or a condominium complex or apartments, that they're reading true and that the amount of the bill reflects the amount of the gas has been delivered. So that's a commercial meter and they all have to be calibrated for uh, certainty so that the customers, which are really the tenants of units, but that the managers can be held uh, accountable and beyond reproach for the bill. They have an independent service provider like myself carry the meter up to calibration and return it with the new certification papers. And that's what we're doing today. Thanks. Okay, hi folks. Uh, it's Quinn here, I'm on site. Um, I'm actually um, taking a, a minute out of my construction day to uh, stop by and do a quick meter service and swap out on a property that I do reads for. And we've had uh, on this site um, a failure of a meter that uh, has yet to be replaced. So that's what I'm gonna take care of today as I drive through town. On my way to get one of my favorite sandwiches, I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out a quick electric meter uh, for this uh, little tiny mobile home park that's hidden up here off of uh, El Cajon Boulevard behind uh, the Chico Club. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and try to get a few photos of that and a, a video of how we do that uh, so you can just kind of see how quickly that can be done. All right, here we go. Okay, so we're back through the security gate and on to uh, the uh, meter panel where I'm going to go ahead and quickly change this electric meter out. Now, I do reads here every month, and uh, so I know right where this is, but sometimes you have to kind of figure out where you're headed and then get there. And uh, so we'll leave some notes in the property descriptions for these locations, and uh, then you'll know what the gate codes are and that kind of stuff. But today I'm just uh, here to replace one of the meters over my shoulders. I think it's the D. And what happened is we went ahead and uh, came in here and installed a brand new meter for it. Uh, not brand new, but uh, cycled out the for calibration and certification. And then the meter never started working. So um, it, it failed upon install. And we're just here to do a quick uh, reinstall of a meter that we can then uh, read every month that'll work. All right, that's the mission. Okay, so as part of what we do here at the meter company, we uh, track the um, well, the calibration cycle for a 10 year uh, recertification on every property, a meter has to be certified every 10 years so that it can have a new sticker from the county asserting that it has been uh, tested and it accurately reads the amount of electricity or water or gas that goes through that meter and then uh, is charged. It's a commercial meter and that's a requirement for that as money is involved. So independent calibration from the county and the services provided and a sticker and a signature means that my name has to go on this meter as well. So I have some individual stickers that uh, show my agent number, my name and phone number. And I also uh, go ahead and mark the date and the time on that with a paint print, uh, pen uh, with my initials. It's required so that any inspector from the county or city can come by here and make sure that uh, they're up to uh, speed on their certifications, that the a sticker from the county is upheld with a current date and that my name and my company information as the service agent is clearly visible. Anyway, so I have these silver stickers. I'll be putting those on, writing the date, my name, and then I'll go swap this out and I'll show you how that works in just a second. Thanks. Okay, so I just came from the tailgate where I went ahead and marked up the meter, added my decal uh, for identifying me as the meter agent and certified person to do the service. And now I'm gonna come up here to the panel where I need to replace the D meter that hasn't moved a bit since I installed it some time ago. So it's a malfunctioning meter. Sometimes it can happen It come back from the county. Who knows what could have happened to it, but in the process it just 
never, it just never worked. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the, um, well, what we have is a metal uh, string tag that shows, and it's a seal, it's a protective anti-tamper seal for the ring. And uh, I have these uh, special tags that I use to seal them and this little tool to make the clip clamp and it seals it. So I'll kind of show you how that's done uh, one-handed here as I work. Hang on. So it's this thing right here I got to go ahead and take off. Just going to go ahead and, you know, rip it. They break pretty easy. And then this ring is going to want to pry right off. So that's really all that we're talking about is getting under that ring. Sometimes they're trouble. And I'll go ahead and put the phone down and see how we do that. But, you know, it could take a tool. It could take a little bit of work. But most of the times you just got to kind of work it together and pull it off by, you know, applying pressure to the ring and then undoing its catch and you, you get quite easy or, or quite adept at doing this with one hand if you have to anyway hang on all right so the metal ring is just going to go ahead and come right off now that i've gotten it separated at the joint it just comes right off and you set it aside and these things no problem honestly there's really no way you can get shocked just pull it right out Line up the new one. It's got these protective flanges so that you can't really plug it in wrong. And as long as it's facing up right and you get it lined up right and you're quick about it, there won't be any interruption or, 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 or a heartache. Anyway, let's see if we can do this right. And we're looking for that little thing to keep moving around. It wasn't possible to see the one in the previous meter because it wasn't highlighted like that or it was on the back side of the wheel or sometimes they just move so slow that you don't perceive the movement. If nobody's inside the unit and there's no uh, electrical being utilized then this won't move. So sometimes it is possible to install one that doesn't work and we just don't know it. So that's the way this one went. Let me go ahead and put the snap ring back on it and I'll get the uh, seal on it and I'll crimp that down and I'll show you how that works. Now one side of this will be the date that it was installed. The other side is my initials. So boom, everybody knows it was me and then the date which is visible there you can see it all right listen uh that's the basic change out of an electrical meter we're successful i've got the read for beginning next time already noted because it's photographed in my work and then uh, i'll take a photo of the outgoing meter we already know what that is because that's on my monthly read sheet as the same number same number same number so i know exactly what that number is already but anyway I read this property once a month and we had a change of meters here because the one that I installed for recalibration certification didn't work. Uh, and that can happen sometimes. So anyway, I hope this video makes a little bit of sense about how quickly a meter can be serviced out in the field. Um, generally there's security protocols with either a login or a chain link or a key or something like that. But um, we know where we're going and we have permission to be on these properties. So we can show up and do what we got to do pretty much, pretty much when we have to, as long as we're not disturbing a tenant. And uh, we get these codes or these keys or these logins from the property managers who book our services through the main office. And that all has to be set up before we can do our thing. Anyway, part of the deal, account management and all the accuracy of the information that we need to get out in the field so that we can get out and quickly do it and again, get back to a construction site if need be. This is just a quick lunch break service call and I'm getting paid, so thanks. Okay, so I just uh, went ahead and executed a service call in the middle of a day to return a uh, meter to service active duty. 
that was changed out a couple of months ago and it never really worked. So it's an electric meter that was in a, a um, remote area of the property. So it was behind a locked fence. Um, I just knew that I had to get it because every month I read the meter and it hadn't been moving. So uh, as soon as I got the meter back from County Weights and Measures for the previous meter run at the same property, I then took a good meter that had passed and swapped it out for the one that had failed the previous time I was on the property doing changes. I'll explain a little bit more about that, but it's a cyclical process where we show up, we change out meters with the ones from the previous visit that have just been recertified. All right, if that makes sense, oish. Now I'm on to get my favorite sandwich over at uh, BMH Deli on El Cone Boulevard. It's just a, uh, basically a, a skip from where I just had this little meter service. And that's why I waited till the middle of the day to pull it off because I knew I could get my sandwich uh, at the same time. All right, so I uh, don't like to drive around while I'm uh, filming and that's uh, exactly why. So anyway, join me later. Howdy, it's Quinn. I'm out at lunch right here in El Cajon and uh, I'm just walking into one of my favorite delis. I just want to let the world know that that's exactly what's happening on my fantastic day out. But uh, more to follow later. It's the, uh, I'll see if I can get a, a clip of it in the back. Tell me you know about this place. All right, anyway. Okay. Okay, folks, it's Quinn here. I'm back from uh, a pretty invigorating day so far. It's uh, just right after the lunch bell and I'm coming up to the corporate headquarters here and I'm gonna just sit down and have a quick lunch break and then figure out what's next. I've got an appointment that's coming over a contractor who would like to uh, have a detailed uh, overview of what we do here at my company so that maybe we can help him with his stuff. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna have a sandwich. Uh, whew, I've earned it.